Gee, I wonder what am I gonna do since Lola's gone to the beauty salon. I know exactly what to do in my spare time. Sweet hallelujah, only one more left. Ah, nothing's better than a nice cold beer. Woo, that's the spot. Hang on tight, cause we're going fast! <laughs> Alright, thank you for riding the SS Waluigi. Alright, son, I want you to sit down there, be a good boy, while well, I'll be right back by giving you some snacks. Oh, hey, Waluigi! Oh, hello! Would you like to try my nice cold beer? Ah, uh, no thank you! I never drink any drink in my life, especially if it's non-alcoholic. Well, maybe it's because you never try it. Here, taste it. Well, okay, if you say so. Well, do you like it? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to tell you all my most deepest, darkest secrets. When I was a young ogre, I posted nudes. Here is the very first one when I was 20 years old. Oh, wait, wrong way. 20 years old. <laughs> oh, what the heck? I, I never meant to so happy in my life! What, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> My back. Oh, remember, kids, don't do drugs. Wait a minute, you used to post nudes back then? Oh, can I see no, that? No, 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 these are only for Fiona. Oh, then why is this camera still recording? What? Get that out of my face! So, you guys ready to watch the trailer? Are we gonna watch Detective Pikachu? Uh, no, don't disrespect me like that again. Oh, okay, then what are we watching? Is it another Marvel movie? No, we've already gone past that. Uh, is it another TV spot for Toy Story 4? No, it is my movie. Wait, oh, the Sonic movie! Oh, I almost forgot that movie has existed in the works. Well, uh, yeah. It's right here! Oh, wow, Paramount just already lost the trailer. Oh boy, I don't know what I'm supposed to feel about this. Is it because it's live action? Come on, at least Sega's doing like some better like fresh ideas for Sonic, am I right? Correct. I mean, this movie is actually, even though it's nothing for what the fans wanted, at least it's something. What do you mean something, Daffy? It says that the fact is, what if this movie decides to be a big comeback for the Sonic franchise and get more notice to the public, especially for the general audience, but what if this movie fails? Well, we gotta find out from the trailer. You can't judge a book by its cover, Woody. Eh, I'm just gonna give it a shot. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the trailer, but this year will be my year. Last year was Spider-Man's year, this will be mine. Yeah, for Team Sonic Racing, a new Sonic game, and now the movie. Yup, don't disappoint me. Alright. Paramount, don't fail us now. I'll go play at the remote. All right, here we go. Come on, guys, get up. Whoa. 760 miles per hour, that's how fast you run, Sonic. Sometimes I can go faster, but that's just the regular days. Huh, guess that's James Morrison. Oh, cool, the rings! Sega! Smart. Okay, I can tell this is a live-action Green Hills. Whoa. Ew, that's disgusting. Look at all the shoes. Sorry, Whoa. I can be homeless. Oh, Gangster's Paradise? Seriously? Gotta go fast. Ha! Gotta go fast! Whoa! Yeah. Separate eyes. Wow! And this is the part where I kill Paul Walker. Dang! That was fast. Ah, oh, great. The government has to be involved. They're so annoying! Yeah, why do they always have to be in every single movie when there's like an alien outer fart from another space? Just as annoying as a strict mob. <gasps> is that Jim Carrey?! Yes, it is. No. That's not Dr. Robotnik! Shh! I'm in charge. <laughs> Allow me to clarify. In a sequentially ranked hierarchy based on level of critical importance, the disparity. He's back! This is classic 90s Jim Carrey! Listen, pal, I don't know if you realize who. I'm sorry, Major. What was your name? Benny. Nobody cares! <laughs> he sounds nothing like Eggman, but this is a new take, Boggs. Oh! Uh, what? Meow? Oh, wow. That's the fans' reaction to Sonic's look. Though I don't like his teeth, it looks horrible! Hey, you never know! The the dentist just really good job. Wow, at least the voice is good. Yeah, that's true. Whoa, that's Spin Nash, bro! And the sound effect is cool. Yeah. 
Oh, so far, it looks... Oh, wow. Eggman has got more of his toys. Jim Carrey is definitely going to steal the show with this movie. Even if the movie looks bad to you, Bugs, Jim Carrey is going to do a great job portraying the character. Oh, Fast and the Furious. Living in a gangster's paradise. Oh, I get it. Sega Genesis. Oh, wow, he's having the traditional Eggman look. Well, not just yet. Uh, here's the Quicksilver thing. Oh, wow, he made a Fitbit joke. Oh, you're right. It is a reference to X-Men's Quicksilver. What? I am blue and quick. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, wow, your spin dash sound effect. Pretty iconic. Mm-hmm. She hasn't said a word in this trailer. Really? Do you have your child in that bag? What? No. I mean, yes, it's a child, but... Not what? Wait a second. So you're kidnapping? Is that Seth Rogen? But as a ginger? Oh, or boy. Blonde? Well, uh, looks like someone's not organized. <gasps> Whoa! Now that is Eggman right there! So, what'd you guys think? Well, even though this movie's pretty much different from the Sonic movies, but I loved it so far. So far, they Tim Miller, the director of Deadpool, who's the executive producer of your movie, I say that he promises that this movie's gonna have some action and some comedy, and of course, most people are disappointed that there's no tails or knuckles, but this is more like a new iteration, a new origin story to retell of you, Sonic, especially for Jim Carrey's Eggman. Sure, he doesn't sound like Eggman, but he surprisingly fits the role for someone who's over the top and super intelligent and decides to like study you and decide to track you down and i think that's gonna be enjoyable uh it looks okay for me what are you talking about what do you looks great okay okay let me just talk about this your look your design it looks kind of a bit weirder in my opinion i mean I'm not gonna lie, you still look like yourself, and of course it's a cool thing that you're wearing socks, and you have the traditional red shoes, but even though they're not like the video game counterpart, but it's close enough, but your eyes are just too short, and the teeth looks pretty horrifying, like that monkey boy from Jumanji. Um, I'm not saying the movie doesn't look bad, I mean, there were some funny moments like Jim Carrey's Eggman, there were some cool action sequences, and there were some nice references to the Sonic games like Sega Genesis, The Rings, When You're on That Desert, which is a reference to Sonic Adventure 2, but I feel like it's gonna be one of those live-action CGI films, like, kids will enjoy it, but not for the older audiences, so... I think it's gonna be an alright film for me, it doesn't look complete garbage, but I don't think it's not gonna be a masterpiece, but I think there will be some enjoyable moments, but some filler moments as well. It looks horrible. I'm sorry I have to say this, but it looks pretty bland. <sighs> this is why I'm looking forward for Detective Pikachu, because it actually looks like a good video game movie, and no offense, the CGI in the Pokemon looks good, and it had a variety of Pokemon characters, but you are the only character, Sonic, and there's so many human characters along with it. Hey, you gotta leave a gift respect for getting Jim Carrey's Eggman look. We're seeing the evolution from Ego Robotnik to his traditional Eggman look. Kind of like the evolution of PS4 Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man PS4. Eh, okay, I'll give you the props. I mean, I believe Jim Carrey will do a great job playing his Dr. Eggman, but for Sonic, eh, it looks horrible from how the way I see it, and the plot looks pretty generic with this Tom Cop character. Hey, I think this is a good start because Sonic is an outsider from this movie, and I heard from the channel that I'm here to save your planet, and he basically has no friends because the government is right after Sonic just because he's running too fast and the government sees him as a threat and they see Eggman as the hero while Sonic needs those human characters like that cop character played by James Marsden and his wife who's also a veterinarian are the only ones that can protect and help Sonic out while everyone sees him as a threat by mistake. Well I do see you got the point right there. At least it looks more enjoyable than him, the Dora movie. Oh definitely. I'm not sure if I want to watch it in the movie theater. Oh I'm definitely for sure. Eh, I will give it a shot. Not excited but not like completely bored by it but I'll go see it. Oh, I'm definitely excited. So, what do you think of our thoughts, Sonic? Huh. Well, I agree with every single one of your criticisms, and, uh, yeah, I think it's cool. I, I am pretty excited to see what happens in the movie. The only thing I am disappointed a little bit with is the way they made my face. Like, it looks like a seven-year-old in a Sonic costume. Exactly! But... They said they'll fix it, and a lot of people aren't happy with that, but me personally, I'm okay with that. They're listening to their audience, and they want the best for them, and to give them the best movie they can. So, I'm okay with what they're doing for that, and as long as what they get, and if the people are happy, they should just stick with that, and 
keep going and move on with the movie just to do the best they can with the movie. I definitely agree, Sonic. I mean, at least the directors and the studio are listening to the fans from the negative reception because I see the trailer got a lot of dislikes, so I could tell that they're actually trying their best to fix the design because they don't like it because, not gonna lie, it looks all right to me. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look great. You look disgusting. All right, we heard you're enough of your criticisms, Bugs, but the point is at least they're trying to, like, do their best just to keep the audience happy. To me, if they fix the audience, to me, I just feel bad for the directors. They should have their own crazy of freedom sure listen to the criticism but from the toxic fans behavior like oh this is not the sign that i grow up you should give me what i wanted first off the fans are not the directors and second they work so hard in the animation just to make it for them so i'm not sure they got six months for releasing the movie and it's gonna take a pretty long time just to do it oh i don't think so i think they're just gonna make minor adjustments like the eyes and the teeth but i don't think it's not gonna be traditional to your video game movie look but still the fans should just know better before they respond. No wonder they're loving Detective Pikachu and just trashing the Sonic movie. Just go see the movie and just give it a chance. Yeah, like I said, I'm not super skeptical, but I'm not like super hyped. But I see your point of views to you, Daffy and Bugs. Yeah, I definitely agree. But, you know, the more you watch it, the more you kind of get used to it. I mean, the only scenes that I really look bad in is when I'm in the car and that part where... I say, uh, meow and scream. Yeah, Those I... Those are the only scenes I look bad, but the rest, uh, I mean, I can deal with it. I, I can get used to it. And I think but the... I still am glad that they're trying to fix it and they're doing their best, but I also agree that they shouldn't listen to the fans and, like, tell them, oh, uh, this should happen to this, this should happen to that, that should exactly. happen there. Exactly. Like, I agree that maybe fixing it and listening to the fans about his looks is understandable because he's the only CGI character and he's uh -huh. the main character. Exactly. So you want to fix that and make it better for the fans to enjoy it more. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say them fixing the character is fine, but don't do anything else to the actual movie. Keep exactly. Keep going with what they're doing yeah they filmed this since july through october they don't have to come back and reshoot then they have to delay the movie and second off i think everything on the movie just looks fine for now why can't they just appreciate it yeah the fans shouldn't be so toxic they should at least be thankful that they're trying their best to make a movie about their favorite video game character me of course mm -hmm. but yeah they should just be thankful for the hard-working team that's behind this movie definitely agree i mean they put so much hard work for it obviously live action will make more money and sadly i know they couldn't bring roger craig smith or mike pollock just to voice their characters and make it animated but honestly if they want to make an anime and write the original video game voice actors from the games then the movie will not go well in the box office and it won't grab that much attention but if you make it live action which is pretty different because sega has never done that before so it's paramount's opportunity to make a sonic movie and bring actors like ben schwartz jim carrey james Marsden, that will help people to get interested in the movie like hey this is a video game franchise that i grew up with i know these actors and hey they're making a movie about it to me that's what some fans could look on the bright side but still be concerned at the same time because who knows they probably might mess up at some point yeah i mean they could do the same thing in marvel like use an iconic character that people love and then put it into something new that's live action and then maybe uh, depending on how well it goes, maybe make a franchise based off it, or mm -hmm. something like that. I agree. It has the potential to create a sequel, since this is an introduction of you and Eggman. Maybe they can have room for your other friends like Tails and Knuckles, and who knows, if they make a trilogy, they can put Shadow. Well, it depends if Jim Carrey says yes, because he's not a sequel guy, except when he did Ace Ventura 2 and Dumber Dumber 2. But he's having fun playing as Eggman. I mean, if you're gonna be in a Sonic movie and playing a villain, which is Dr. Eggman, you gotta have fun playing with the role, and he's having a good time. Of course, I mean, any role that you put as Jim Carrey as, he gotta, he's gotta have fun. Yeah, same for Batman Forever. It was a bad movie, but as the Riddler, he made the movie somewhat enjoyable. So if the movie does have a bad rating, I think people are just gonna like Jim Carrey's Eggman just because he did his best try to make the movie at least enjoyable. And yeah, Gangster's Paradise, I know it's a pretty weird song choice, they could have chose the songs from Sonic, but I understand why they choose Gangster's Paradise, because it's a 90s song, and it's, and you are a video games character from the 90s, but it doesn't fit you. Yeah, but they did it for the general audience, because the fans will know the Sonic songs, but we don't. Yep. It's just, well, how much has Sega participated with the support to this movie? Well, even though no one from Sega are involved making the movie, but they're licensing and producing the rights to it. That explains it. 
Yep. That's probably why they haven't used any of my music, songs. Well, they at least use my sound effects, which is good. Yeah, they used it like Easter egg references, like Woody just pretty much explained all of them. So there's still some nostalgic nods for the fans as well. It's not like they're ignoring the source material. Yeah. But I've got hopes for this film, and I know they can do it. If not, oh well. So I'll do I. I, I don't care about what other people say. I'll still like it, whether or not other people like it or not. Yeah, I guess I'll give it a chance, and you keep me an open mind. But if it becomes bad, I'm definitely gonna regret it. Hey, what about my movie? Why haven't they made a movie about Knuckles? Well, uh, they first gotta start off with me. I am the main character. It's not really about you yet, hopefully. Plus, they might save you for a potential sequel. Uh, you know what? I want my very own movie. I need to be a star. Look. Let's take a look at how you look like Sonic. If they can make you look gorgeous, let's see how- You know what, never mind, I'm sick of the video games. You know what, I'm just gonna compare the looks between Detective Pikachu and Sonic to someone. I know who- Hey, Walla away, Jay! Oh, oh, my back. Yes, what do you want? Do you want to see video game characters in live action from how they look if they were in a movie? Oh, yes, please, show me them! Alright, here's live-action Pikachu from Detective Pikachu. Ah, he looks cute! I wanna hug him! Alright, who's next after this cutesy little fuzzball? Alright, you wanna see live-action Sonic? Oh yes, please! Is he also cute? Alright, here's live-action Sonic- GOD, oh, WHAT IS THAT? GET THAT AWAY FROM ME! Wow, tough crowd. Also, I need a tan. <laughs> huh? Guys, is Waluigi having a seizure or is he trying to act like a goat? <laughs> Come on, Waluigi, just calm down. You're overreacting. Yeah, come on, man, chill out. Ah, get away from me! <sighs> I'll go take care of him. I think you need to have your time on your own, Sonic, and, you know, just relax. Yeah, I should. Especially staying away from all the tweets about my movie. Yeah, hope you feel better. I'm gonna go check on Buzz. <laughs> Go, Diego, go! Uh, can I change the channel, please? <laughs> no. Why? Because this... This is a beautiful show. What? But I'm getting bored of it. I want to watch Family Guy. Family Guy? Aren't you a bit too young to watch that? Aren't you a bit too old to watch Go, Diego, go? No! You know why? Because I can learn about the animals, like a lion, chinchilla, koala... Kangaroo, ostrich, all of those type of animals. But I just want to see Stewie and Brian beat up their dad. I don't care. Look, Diego's a fantastic show. I want to watch it because it's great. Don't you agree? See, he agrees with me. I can't do this anymore. It's my turn to use the remote. Hey, come back here. How is going to touch me? Ah, come back here. What's all that noise? What's going on here? Uh, guys? You might want to take a calm look at this. Ah! The blue furry monkey's about to give me rabies! <laughs> we eat the red monk! Well, if you want it, here! Go ahead and have it! Stop this! <laughs> it's mine! No, it's mine! No, it's mine! Don't mine! Touch mine! It. Mine! Mine! Alright, all of you just stop what you're doing right now! It's the blue furry monkey god now. <coughs> Does that mean I won? Are we all gonna get spanked? No, that means we're all gonna meet each other with the room, and then we're gonna call up a specialist to talk with all of you with all of your behavior. No, oh, come on! Eh, I don't want to get a needle shot in through my booty. Okay, we're here to talk about all of you guys' besides the baby behavior. I've been hearing that you have been misbehaving, and uh, that isn't good, because these type of behaviors could lead to inconsideration to other people, no good manners, stuff like that. Those are the type of consequences you'll get for keeping up this type of behavior, and it won't end well. So, I'm here to try and give you some suggestions to maybe help you out with that. Like, you could go out and take a nice walk at the park, you could uh, stay at home, relax, and read a book, or maybe even take a nap. Wait, you said read a book? Yes. Can we read Wild the Builder? No, that, that doesn't help. Well, why not? Because it's literally only five pages long and it's just nothing but pictures. 
Uh, you're right. <laughs> well, like I said, you could just take a nap. But, wait, how do you sleep? How do you sleep? You just close your eyes and get comfortable. We can't close our eyes. Yeah, neither do I. Ah, uh, you're right, none of us can close our eyes. Point is, just find something that makes you happy, that keeps you calm, and that is just soothing to your mind. Now, as for you... Uh, me? Since you are a single father and you have a child with you, I expect you to be a better father figure and a good example to your child. But with this type of behavior and acting like a retarded 12-year-old at school, th that isn't a good example to your child. So I think you should act more like a father than a child. I guess you're right. I won't fail at you, doctor. Won't fail on my son, and I won't fail on me. Alright, that's good to hear. Now that I'm done talking with you three, I'm gonna go outside and talk to the rest of your friends, and uh, I hope the rest of you learn from this, and have a good day. So, how did it go? Well, it didn't go as bad as I thought it would be. They uh, paid attention, but I really hope they understood what I said. But, I just told them that they needed to relax and find something that they enjoy doing and something that doesn't stress them out so that they don't act that way. So, what do we do now with them? Mm, I would say give them some time alone just to, like I said, relax, not stress them out. Okay, I guess I'll keep that. Or, if you could, and if you want to, since this is just day one, you guys can keep an eye on them and uh, just make sure they don't act cuckoo, you know. Sure, no problem. And maybe when they have their time to be ready, maybe we could just do some other activities that you recommend to them. Like I say, going out to the park and playing sports, that's something that they rarely do, so they could just keep their eyes away from the television. Yeah, you could do that. Hmm, not a bad idea, Woody. Alright, it was a good talk with you, fine gentlemen. I am gonna leave, pack my stuff, and yeah, thanks for everything. No problem, Doctor. Alright, wait, did you just call me Doctor? Yeah, Doc. We talked about this. Oh, right, uh, sorry. Thank you. No, I'll leave now. Alright, see ya. I'm not gonna be their babysitter for this whole time, so please don't look at me. Just try to ask somebody else besides us. Don't worry, Daff, y'all know the perfect person who can help us. Hey, Yellow Toad, mind if you do me a favor just trying to take care of the, those three retards in the room? Oh, come on! They probably might end up choking me in the end! Why me? Because all you just do is sit around that couch and you barely do nothing, you lazy bum! Well, I've been working on the Mushroom Kingdom for the pretzels, so I just want to relax! Plus, I need my diaper change! Ha! Was! It's not fair! I always pee every single hour of my life! Then why don't you just go change your pants? Ah! Anyway, I'm just gonna let you two lunatics think about if you're gonna make up your mind to help, or I'm just gonna go ask other people. Ugh, it's feeding time for that toilet. Ugh, oh, grumpy. Okay. What? Thank goodness you're here. Um, I just, can you just please do me a favor that you can keep an eye on Buzz while Luigi and Taz just in case they misbehave around the house and go out of control? Bobby, I would hate to do that, but... I just had a full course meal with nothing but cheese and golden corral. And it's an emergency that I go right... Oh! Uh, you okay? Oh, Toby, look, there's no time for talking. It's an emergency, I need to go. Are you sure you don't need my help, Grumpy? No! What? Oh. <sighs> Why did I even ask? Excuse me, Shrek, can you help me out by keeping an eye on Buzz while Luigi tears if they're gonna mess over the house with their misbehavior? Eh, sorry, you can't. Why not? Because I have to water the plants. Water the plants? But you're an ogre! But, so? It, I have to do it. It's better than paying rent. <sighs> I guess so. Alright. Ta-ta! I better go before the land of far, far away to parts me from uh, my swamp. Oh dear, then you should do that right away. I'll go ask somebody else. Savista, so would you like to be a volunteer to help Buzz while we do tests with their misbehavior? Oh no, Bugs, I'm the wrong person to do it. I would rather clean the Rodri as usual. But you don't clean the Rodri. Uh, if I do, well, uh, I gotta go wash myself. See ya! Ah! <sighs> well, that's everyone that I know around this household. <sighs> Alright, turns out everyone's busy and I have no other choice but to keep an eye on you two. Would you mind to help them? Sure I will. No, I won't. What do you mean? I gotta go pay my bills. You're not the man of the house, Bugs is. Exactly, Daffy, you don't even have a job. Yes, I do. All I do is just sit at home and get paid $500 per week by watching television news. Eh, that's not even an occupation. Ah, oh, whatever. Well, do you want to help or not? Well, we get paid, though. 
maybe. Okay, then. A deal is a deal. Come on, Whitey. Let's just do this and keep on eyeing those bozos. All right, then. Let's go. Thank you so much. <sighs> I can finally relax. Hey, <sighs> relaxing is boring. Yeah, I agree. Anyone want to watch TV? Oh, me, 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 me. Got the remote right here. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kermit the Frog. Are you? Have you ever sat at home alone and ever thought to yourself, why can't I have a friend? Why can't I ever talk to a dinosaur before they died? Well, now you can with your best friend of all time and that also retarded dinosaur next to him, Barney and Friends. <laughs> Hi, kids. Go meet me and play with me at the park. If you want to come meet Barney and his retarded friends, then come down to Don't Take My Kids Park, uh, Retard Avenue Street. Barney! Yay, the dinosaur who destroyed Tokyo is going to come back and kill us all! I want to see him! Well, I definitely want to take my son. I just want to see the picture with them. So, you guys want to go to the park, do ya? Uh-huh. Well, in one condition, what if you it? want to go to the park and meet Barney, you got to do some outdoor activities with us. What? Yeah, you got to go play sports with us. Yeah, you got to get physical with those ladies out there. Oh. Come on, that's for babies. Well, meaning a fake guy in a purple dinosaur suit is for babies to meet. He's me. real. No, he isn't. Yeah, he is. No, he isn't. Mm -hmm. Dinosaurs are dead. No, they're not. Yes, Barney's right. alive. <sighs> Whatever you say in your mental imagination. It's not imagination. He is alive. Well, if already you, if you want to meet him, you got to come along and just do some outdoor activities. And then if you do so well with your behavior, then you could probably might take a picture with Barney. Yeah, fine. <laughs> All right, I can let my son play some sports. Come on, let's get into the car. All right, partners, I'm going to go to the car. All right, make sure you don't get kidnapped by a guy in a white van. Ooh, I hope he does have a mustache. It better be Barney. All right, partners, is this the place? Well, it looks like it. My GPS, it says, don't take my kids park at Retard Avenue Street. Why is it called that? Well, maybe it's because their parents don't love their kids anymore. They don't want to take them here. Or else they got kidnapped by that red van over there. Well, I'm gonna make sure my kid doesn't get kidnapped or lost in this place. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna go find a spot so we can just play the ball. All right, I'll be coming along with you. <gasps> Woody, look! What? That's your signature. That's not my signature. You know what comes with the sheriff, or at least Andy, at least underneath my boot. Oh. Anyway, let's just keep it rocking. Yeah. Wait, did somebody say we're gonna play with the ball? Hey, it says balls rock here, boys. Look. <gasps> Balls rock? My balls rock! So do oh, we. Wait, I don't have any balls. Wait, How many balls? Uh, we're playing with one of them over there. Oh. It's a basketball for information. How about we game a play of Hot Potato, kind of like we did with Mr. Potato Head, and I think we must have did it to his wife as well. But the thing is, you need to toss the ball as much as you can before we keep saying Hot Potato, Hot Potato. If you're the last one and then accidentally drop the potato, boom, it explodes. I'm definitely never eating at KFC again, are you? What's that? Mm, never mind. So, Waluigi, you want to play? Yeah, no thanks. I'm just going to take my son to the swings just for his own safety. All right. At least you got to keep your kids safe. All right. See you guys later. All right. All right, partners. Let's go play ball. Wait, whose ball are we playing again? I have no idea. What are we playing? Oh, Buzz! Buzz, please don't end up in a coma. Speak to me. Oh. <gasps> Could it be? <gasps> Jesus? All right, kids. Come on down to me. Uh, nice banana peel. It's a blankie. I sneeze on it. I do ah, rabies. Uh, you're not diagnosed with anything, are you? No, but I wanted to give you a big hug because you're my best friend. Ah! What? I'm not going to eat you. Marty, he's here. I knew it. That's the dancer that takes out Tokyo. Let's go say hi to him. Yeah. All right, you're up, Daffy. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Ow! Ow! My, you nearly just cracked my beak. Better look out next time. What? Hey, where are you guys going? We're supposed to play hot potato. Woody, Barney is here. We need to see him. Yeah, I want him to eat my own bakery since he's a T-Rex. Ah, don't you pathetic losers know nothing. What? what do you mean? I don't understand. Does that mean Barney's a girl? No, the fact is that's not the real Barney. That's just a guy in the fat suit. No, it isn't. He's real. Barney is as real as can be. He loves us all. We need to respect him. Trust me, he's not going to know your names if you're first going to meet him. Yes, he will. He loves us all. Exactly. He says it in every episode. Exactly. I love it. You better shut up or I'm going to put you at the end of the trunk as we leave this park at this moment. Sorry. 
But there's nothing gonna stop us. We're gonna be Barney no matter what. We don't care what you say. Come on, Buzz. Let's go make sure this dinosaur doesn't smell our feet. I would love him to smell my feet. Ugh, I can't believe those idiots are feeling this for this stupidity. Well, guess what? How will you have a better idea to make them feel more in their physical activity? After all, they're lazy, then they're fat, and they always sit on the couch all day long. Don't you mean the mattress? Yeah, it's still a uh, possible furniture that they usually like to slack off on. Well, what is your idea? How, you see that Gary bot over there? What are you going to do? You're trying to like litter the park and obviously get arrested by a park ranger? No! What I think is, how about we decide to make a competition between Buzz and Taz and says, if you won't get this Gatorade, if we try to chase it from us, they won't get not free ice creams when they come back. You think they'll actually care? I mean, they would. I mean, they have mentality of four-year-olds, don't you think? Hmm, good point. Let's just give it a shot before they go say hi to this lovable fat gay dinosaur. How yeah, you bet. Yay, I'm so excited to meet him. I think I'm so excited that I'm going to get a cardiac arrest. Hello, gentlemen. What the heck? What are you doing here? Why are you holding the Gator's Aid? It's called Gatorade for your information. You have Gatorade? No, Let it's not that. No, no, no. Give it back. Why? Okay, if you want to have a drink of this Gatorade, and if you want to get us, you will get free ice cream, and then you probably go meet Barney. All you need to do is try to lose a little bit of that weight from both of you since you've been eating so much donuts lately. I've been enjoying all my food. I'm no longer becoming a vegan anymore. Well, if you don't want to, like, not be bored, and if you just want to get your chance to be Barney, how about you just go to this chat a little exercise? You're not making sense, Woody. Wait, how about... <gasps> I shove that bottle up on Taz's butt. It would feel sexy. I mean, it's getting hot outside. You want to get ice cream after when we're done playing, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, if you want to get the Gatorade, come on, let's get it! Yeah, give it back! <laughs> Are they getting any closer? Yeah, pass it to me, pass it to me! Okay, ah, thanks! The black race is going gone. Let's get him. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret this. Whoa, whoa! See, he's knocked down. Let's go slide in our bellies and get him. Well, I'm scared of him. <laughs> Loser out in. Ah! Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, morons, come and get if you can, Buzz. <laughs> oh. All right, son. I'm ready to push you. Now say we. Wee! Oh, excuse me, all the way, crap, what's going on? Uh, who oh, it's Gator Ray! Wee! 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 I need it. I need it. Give up now? Alright, you can have it. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. Thank you, buddy. You know what I just realized? What? This could be used as a Gatorade commercial. Ugh. <sighs> Maybe, but it'll be pretty harmful, and we might get sued. Thank you. That was delicious. No problem, Buzz. Well, you know what they say. Everyone needs liquid in their lives. It's kind of like when a car needs gas. But what about lemons? Let me tell you all about it. You see, when life gets you lemons, they often fall off from the sky. Ooh. As soon as life gets you lemons, you'll eventually start to eat them. <clears throat> Until then, you realize the lemons are expired. Oh! <laughs> oh! That was disgusting! That made my pee very yellow. Mine was blue once, that's disgusting. So was mine. All right, since everybody's tired, I guess we can all go home now. Come on, guys. <gasps> oh no, Barney! All right, guys, five more minutes until Barney leaves. Come meet me now, or I go bye bye I hope this makes you go bye-bye. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Please do that again. Call me Punch Me the Nuts Barney. What? Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 the tickles. Security! I could do this all day. All right, kid, you're under arrested for assaulting but, dinosaur. Uh, what? It was a dinosaur. He asked me to do it. This is the second time I hurt my back. You okay there, Waluigi? Oh, yes, everything's just fine. My son's okay. He's not hurt. But I am just because your friend just pushed me when I was just on the swing. All right, calm down, Waluigi. We'll get some paramedics. All you need to do is stay chill, and I'll go find Buzz. Where's Buzz? Uh, Waddy, he's walking away from us. <laughs> Buzz. Barney. Buzz. What? Since you don't know how to act your age, we gotta go leave. No, I want to make friends! But you already have friends! Nope, I had a bunch of friends. Since when? Well, I met up with some kids from kindergarten who left me since they, uh, said, uh... <laughs> they said, you're ugly. Well, that doesn't matter, Buzz. We're going home, right now. No, you can't take me! Quick, get him! <laughs> Catch me if you can. Look, he's getting up there! Hey, hey, hey! Whoa, I'm slapping! Wah! 
Ta ta, I'll see you all in Mexico. Oh, boss, go play, what? Boss, 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 we're gonna hit the cow. <laughs> Isn't this fun, Woody? Go, I hate you. Oh, what was I doing again? <gasps> party! Oh. Yay, party! Oh, out of the way, man! <gasps> oh, wait, who are you? I am Buzz Lightyear. Do you know how long it's been since I've wanted to meet you, Barney? Wait, you're my biggest fan? Yes! Well, most adults think that I'm childish, but you actually love me? Yes, I love you, Barney! Well, that's great! You think we should sing the rain song together? <gasps> Absolutely! That's okay! Come on, you wanna come, baby Bob? I'm sick! Oh, I'm sorry, but hopefully you get better. <laughs> come on, little buddy, let's sing the rain song! Yeah! Ooh, I love this song. If all the raindrops are lemon drops and gumdrops, oh, what a rain that will be. Standing aside with my mouth open wide. Oh, 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 please press my heart. Love you, Barney. No! <laughs> oh, he smells. What's wrong, Buzz? <laughs> Barney is dead. I don't think that's the real Barney. Are you sure about that? He looks real to me. <laughs> Step aside. It looks like a zipper on his back. It, 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 come on, and it's a duplicate robot. What? It has batteries on his back. Then how was he speaking to me? I have no idea. Then I could definitely tell it's not a guy inside of a fat suit or anything. So. I can't believe you just fell for it, Buzz. Barney. He fooled me. Well, sometimes you just gotta be careful for who you believe. I can't believe it. I'm done with this! Screw Barney! I love Elmo now! Dang it, they found out! Well, there goes my paycheck! Sakai! Freeze! Any of you don't move! You're under arrest for destroying public property. Aw, oh, crap. What are we gonna do now? Beat them. No, how about it? I have a better idea. And what is that? Everybody get back to the car! Okay. Hey, stop! <laughs> After them! <laughs> Guys, we gotta go. Wow, what's the problem? Are we gonna get free ice cream? No, the cops are chasing back to us. Get back to the car. Oh, no! No, I don't want them to chase me! Right off, you get in the back! Go, 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 go! Oh, is everybody here? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm here. Alright. Well, at least they're not close. Bye! Please step away from the vehicle. Oh no! Step on it, Woody! I'm gonna regret this. Everybody, hang on! Hey, stop! W why'd you let him go? Oh, it, is you could have used your gun. Oh, my gun? I didn't bring it with me. I left it in the police car. Why did car. you bring your gun? You're a cop. Oh, it's just because there's children around this place. Oh my gosh. Oh, <sighs> that was a close one. I think we lost them. Yeah, but if the cops find out our address, we're gonna be in so much trouble. But in the meantime, does anyone want to hear music in the radio? Who oh, I do? No. Hey, Waluigi, are you okay of letting your son hearing music in the radio? I guess. Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it is. Your kid might love it. Let me just see what's playing right now on the recent radio station. Good choice, Daffy. Yeah, I love this song. Don't stop believing. No, I don't like this song. Change it to Dubu Quattro. Change it to Dubu Four. Quattro, Quattro, Quattro. What's wrong with you? Let's just turn off the music if we can. Oh, Quato, Quato, please! Yeah, this is what you're doing! Get back to your seat, guys! Right now, or else we're gonna crash! Why? Oh. Um, yeah, what's up, Doc? <laughs> I thought he was real! Yo, oh, everything what TV just told us was a lie! Hey, Wallow, huh? I'm being such a bad example to my son. Uh. So, how was your road trip to the park? Ah, um, it's better off if we decide to not talk about it. Yeah, I definitely agree. Are you sure? Because everyone's looking miserable and I think we should talk about it. Uh, Bugs, I think it's better off if you can just leave them alone just because they feel miserable. Oh, I see. Personal space. Alright, I won't bother them, but please come inside. Alright, it's getting hot out here. Hey, Waluigi, wanna tell me what's your problem? I'd rather not talk about it as much, but I have to say, my behavior is becoming so immature just because I'm being a bad example to my son. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. So I think it's better off if I solve this own conflict alone. Okay, 
Hope you feel better. See you later, Doc. Wow, we definitely messed up. Yup, big time. I mean, we already got being chased by the cops. Who knows, they'd be writing our names in the referral list and... I know there's one way that I could cheer Buzz and Taz up, but what about Waluigi? I heard that Bugs, when he was just asking Bugs and just telling him to decide to like, give him some more space, I think we should leave Waluigi alone because he says he wants to solve his own problem. I saw that like behind the corner. Okay, then what else can we do? Hmm. I got an idea. Hey Daffy, yeah? Do you remember the time where I first came to your house and when we met for the first time and we watched Little Bill together? Yeah, I remember! Why did you brought that question up? Because I have an idea to bring a special friend for Buzz and Taz. And who is it gonna be? The real Barney? No, it's someone better. Okay, he's right behind you, right? Yeah, he's literally right next to me. Okay, Buzz Taz, somebody wants to make friends with you. <gasps> really? Who is it? Is it a male stripper? No, it's someone better. It's none other than Black Eye You. I was also male. No, oh, it's a wild chimpanzee. Why did you molest us? Wait, guys, come back. Oh, see, I told you, Little Bill was a five-year-old kid who's addicted to cocaine. <laughs> <sighs> this isn't helping at all. So, what are we gonna do with the kid? Are we gonna drop him off at the zoo and lock him up in a chip and see habitat from where he belongs? No, Daffy, we're not doing that! Okay, how about we drop him off in a strip club so he can finally get laid? No, Daffy! Listen here! He's an innocent child, and we're trying to keep him away from Bill Cosby! Bill Cosby? Who that? Oh yeah, Bill Cosby. Let me just t explain it all to you. Bill Cosby is secretly your father, who's secretly a sex offender who often rapes kids and who's usually responsible for running your show on Nickelodeon. Oh, I don't know my dad! <sighs> you know what? I'll be right back. W where are you going? Alright, kid, I'm just gonna give you my 25 cents quarter. Make sure you go spend on something good. Make sure you spend it on Bill Cosby pills. Uh, no. You know why? Because I only like cold dogs! <sighs> Are you sure you think I should get in this quarter? Oh, give me that, Woody. All right, kid. There you go, son. Now get out of here. You're bothering me. Wait. Can I show you something first? <sighs> sure. <laughs> look at those. Oh. Whoa. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. I found every Cadora. And look at those dumb kids in school. You know what my Uncle Terry told me? Uh, what? He told me the school's useless. Then what happened to your Uncle Terry? Oh, he's in jail now. Oh. Oh, no, no. He just started eating snail. Look. He says, build your own bongo. Uh, okay, I think he shows enough, kid. I think he no, should no, no, leave. Wait, 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 look, can I color? Get out of here! Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go rob a 7 Eleven with this quarter. <laughs> Woody, that's gotta be one of the worst ideas that you ever brought up. What? He's like, you know, less stupid than Barney. Well, yeah, he's more annoying than him. Good point. <laughs> we must run faster! We gotta get Barney before the chip and he goes, ah! <laughs> you don't! <laughs> Taz, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. Is he okay? Oh, no. Let me you check. think he's dead? Does he smell? Yes. Oh, no, he's waking up! Quick, let's speed him up before he gets up! Hey! Hands behind your head. Oh, no, it's the cops! I bet that cop is his dad. All right, I got both of you buffoons already got caught. Anyway, we and Officer Wachowski got a couple of questions. Yeah, like why were you assaulting that little child? Well, I'll start off here. It was just me and Tass. We were having the time of our lives. Mm hmm Well, sort of, because we experienced something very traumatic, but yep. all of a sudden, there was this little kid that came into our house. He started screaming, laughing, touching everything, so we freaked out and ran away. Then, we went outside, and we got in the car with my dog friend here, Taz. And then, he was driving, we saw the child, monkey, human child, running and laughing psychotically. So then we ran him over, and then we checked if he was dead, he was still alive, but we were scared that he would attack us or something, so we beat him up. Yeah, he was just scaring you to death just because he act like a wild monkey, well, mentally he is. But the thing is, he was going crazy, like he suffered to a heart attack and he laughed like an evil chipmunk. So basically, he's a young crackhead. Hmm, most likely. So tell me. Who invited him into your household? Oh, it was a redneck and a black crow. Thanks for describing their physical appearances, but what are their names? Woody and Daffy Duck. Yup, it was those guys who invited them. They're the ones that you should be blaming on.
All right, you two. Our original suspects assume that you are responsible by bringing that young kid who is mentally ill and decided to bring it to the household. Why would you do that? Look, officer, I'm sorry for what we're doing, like breaking the law so much. We are so sorry for destroying your public property and the fact that we decided to run away from a car for over like over 50 miles per hour in a 30 miles per hour lane. And the fact is the reason why, because you see those guys have usually just a childish behavior and they don't know how to act on their choices or their decisions. So since they feel bad about this figure, who is in this case Barney at the park, was basically described as public property. He was just ups one of my friends over there was just really upset that he didn't think it was the real one. I'm trying their best to like get their happy side of their life so they won't be standing here and bored. I'm just doing my best just to be a good friend to them. That's all. Oh yeah, and the kid we actually find him in an alleyway in a ghetto neighborhood. So we decided to just you know what he just said. Just trying to make the friends feel better. That's all. But please don't take me to jail. All right, please don't cuff me put me in a chokehold, or blind me with pepper spray! Well, since you're honest about speaking the truth... We're not gonna arrest you. Wait, you're not? Then what are you gonna deal with us? Well, according to the under restrictions, our friend Can the Hat here is gonna bring in a warranty that you're gonna be under house arrest. Hello, gentlemen. Good to see you again. You heard what the man said. You guys will be contained into house arrest for a week. What? What is that supposed to mean? Well, what that means is, under the law's restriction orders, you have to stay in your home for a week. Does it only have to be me and Ham? No, you aren't the only ones. Follow me. See, you aren't alone here. These guys will be joining you as well. Oh man, I'm never gonna go to Burger King. Do we at least have Taco Tuesday? No, well, that's your choice. Well, but what about me? Well, sir, you haven't really done any damage or anything, so uh, you're free to go. Really? Yes. Thank you. You're very welcome, sir. You're free to go now. <sighs> no problem. I'll promise myself to stay out of trouble and be a good father to my son. I wish you good luck to that, sir. Alright. Thank you very much, everyone. Well, I hope you four learn your lesson after this week. Remember, if you take one step out of this house, we know where you live. You'll end up in a cell. Well, I wish you all good luck in surpassing the week. Alright, see y'all later. Gotta go get some Dunkin' Donuts. Well, looks like we all learned a lesson, haven't we? Yep. When you start having maturities, when you stop complaining and making excuses in your life, you realize everything that happens in the life is a result of the previous choice you made, and start making new choices in our lives. We can still have our youthful personality, but as we grow older, we can have a balance to allow maturity to be included on the way that we behave and the decisions that we make as well. I'm never being friends with the monkey again. I'm never letting you drive again.